Hello Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. If you're new around here, my name is Ashley. I'm a soil scientist by formal education with a minor in plant science. And on this channel, we put the science to test against tips, tricks, and hacks you hear on the internet. And sometimes we give you totally new ideas about how to do things. So if you like the sounds of that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, button and join the crew. If you are here returning from another video, hello, welcome back. I enjoy your comments thoroughly and I love our conversations. No matter how big or small, they actually truly mean a lot to me. So I want to personally thank you for that. And drum roll, please. We have officially hit over 1,000 subscribers somehow, some way in less than two weeks. So bravo to you. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart all the way up here in Canada. So we are officially starting a new series and I have no idea what to call it. So if you have an idea of what to call it, you should leave it down in the comment section below. But it was spurred by what I've seen on Facebook, Instagram, and forums about all the hacks and shortcuts to help your plants. And as a soil scientist, a lot of these hacks involve nutrients and making the soil better, etc., and so forth. So I kind of want to sort through the misinformation. I'm probably not going to make a lot of friends out of this, but I want to give you the truth as gardeners and houseplant owners so that you can do your best in the garden and in your home. So today's video, we are starting off with the very infamous claim of sugar water. On this series, the way that I've decided to format these or script these is I'm going to present you with the theory or the hack and the intended purpose of the hack, and then we're going to apply some science to it and see if it is true or not, and then I'm going to give you my personal recommendation at the end of the video as to whether or not it is okay at all, not at all, or in small doses. So the first one I have seen is the sugar hack. And the claim is stated to revive plants who are going through transplant shock. Now, if you don't know what transplant shock is, you've probably seen it. It is the spaghetti noodle style looking plant after it's been put into the garden. The theory is that if you mix a cup of sugar with five gallon pail of water and you water your plant with the water from that five gallon pail with sugar that you will revive the plant. Now, the science behind why this may work and why this could be a hack is because it provides carbohydrates for the plant. When the plant has gone into shock, in a lot of cases, it's either been sunburned, not hardened off properly, or the roots have been harmed in the transplanting process. So therefore photosynthesis can't take place or nutrients and water cannot be taken up by the roots. This causes a deficiency within the plant, which means no new blooms, no new leaves. So when we give them sugar water, the theory would be that through osmosis and diffusion, the sugar water is taken up into the roots placed into the plant system and therefore supplies it with the energy it needs to revive itself. Now, let's put a bit of science on that and reality onto that. Plants don't have stomachs. Therefore, a container of sugar water is not metabolized by the plant. However, it can be used by the plant as a mechanism to provide carbohydrates. Fun fact is that when a, a plant is under stress and can't photosynthesize, sugar water does work, but it only works for cut flowers. You know those little packets you get with cut flowers? Those actually have sugar in them. That falsely sends a signal to the plant that it is healthy and it should keep its blooms riding along, but it eventually dies. And the same thing is going to happen with your wilted or shocked plants. 
I do not recommend giving it sugar water. If you give sugar water to any plant, tree, shrub, rose bush, you will kill it. An alternative to treating shock is properly hardening the plant off and properly transplanting it in the soil. If you don't know how to properly do this, then I suggest you check out my video on the science of hardening off plants and how to transplant a plant properly. So as much as I'd like to say sugar water your plants, I would steer away from this hack, tip or trick because it is false. Well, I hope this video helped you guys and the whole series we're doing coffee grounds, milk, eggs, you name it. If there's any other tips, hacks that you have heard of and you want me to put a science spin on it, leave it down in the comments below and I will schedule it into the format of this series. So I hope you have a great planting season. No sugar water if your plants are going through shock and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, hey there. Are you still watching? Make sure to hit that subscribe button for some more awesome plant videos.